Victors with Victor. <laughs> and you're sharing John. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we are on your channel. <laughs> oh, no, I'm on my channel. Are we on my channel? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, on a Robbie series. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> gonna take raw eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you're in Nairobi or the surrounding, if you see different colors of mosquitoes. This is very strange. Sleep with clothes. <laughs> no, yeah, I always sleep with clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because something might like come. <laughs> the people who had seen the fire, yeah. they had woken up. So they saw a naked man coming from <laughs> <laughs> But still that doesn't stop me from <laughs> Women who are watching, let us know what you think I think it would be a good thing mm -hmm. For me, I think uh, a lot of young people fail today because they think They want to understand women yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Victors with Victor. <laughs> and you're sharing John. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are on your channel. <laughs> oh, no, I'm on my channel. Are we on my channel? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the confusion. <laughs> anyway, welcome again to my channel, bro. Thank you very much. I'm very and a uh, yeah, big yeah. shout out to, uh, for the work that you're doing. Yeah, thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to give you guys a brainstorm and a little bit of um, insight on the series that we just finished. It was uh, Nairobi series. Nairobi series? Yeah, for the two. <laughs> Nairobi has words. Nairobi constitution. <laughs> Honestly, think this guy on toes. This guy on toes. He's become a big man, a grown man. Go to his channel, share with John. Uh, but welcome again to this episode. It's a very this is a hey, no very long time. This is the very first time I'm sitting down at home to record. But we wanted to really celebrate uh, this uh, success of the series. I finished it with John's story. If you haven't watched it, go down there and watch it. It's the last story before this one. Yeah, share with John Karib. Asante sana. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys an insight on on a Robi series. We did it. Two success. Success series. The first one was the first one was Kibera series. Kibera, what were we doing? Kibera, Kibera uh, there were uh, what villages? Kibera villages. Nice. So today I'm challenging John, but I also <laughs> want to share with you guys. I wanted to make it a little bit interactive. I'm challenging John to a few things. I'm gonna be asking him questions. He's been very close to my channel. I also want to help support his channel. So if you are not subscribed to share with John, go to share with John. John subscribe and drop a comment on the comment section shout out to everybody who subscribe i really appreciate uh john is somebody i'm mentoring into youtube now you know Levin and lenny mentored me so i have a responsibility to also mentor more so we can tell more stories and um so today i'm challenging john i'm gonna be asking him questions if he misses the questions <laughs> guess what what do you have I have fermented milk here. <laughs> minted milk, it's called minted milk. Fermented milk. Oh, fermented yeah. milk. That's in Swahili we it's call it. Ma maziwa mala. Maziwa mala. lala or mala. What's sleeping the... milk. Lala. Lala. Lala is <laughs> sleep in Swahili. And mala? Mala. <laughs> right? Let us know what you think. What's mala in Swahili? In the comment section. But anyway, and here I am. Egg? If I see <laughs> or this is a raw egg. Oh yeah. So every correct question answered, you're gonna take Mazua Lala. Okay. <laughs> every raw you're gonna take raw eggs. <laughs> Where did I vomit from? <laughs> it's okay. No, we must wanna see that. I'm just giving these guys on toes. Go to his channel please and subscribe, share with John. Uh, also, if you can't find it, link on description. Always, if you click any of my videos, you'll find this link on description. Let's hit 100 uh, subscribers for John. Let's help him hit 100 subscribers. And so, ladies and gentlemen, John, you ready? I'm ready. As you can see, I'm holding the fermented milk. I'm in, ready with this one. Yeah. In doing the Nairobi series, I think it was very exciting. It was a learning experience for me. Um, John told me he was watching. Why are you watching? Yeah, I was watching. Uh, how was it for you? I, though I was I was not part of it. Like uh, I, uh, I was I wasn't part of it, but I felt it was really nice, and I felt like I was. I wish I was there. 
uh, experiences live, uh, not from YouTube. Yeah, John was supposed to be there, but again, he is. Yeah, he has his channel, so I'm giving him time to be able to build his channel. He joined us from Madara, which was quite interesting. Uh, what were some of the lessons or insights that you got from the Nairobi constituent cities? First, if you start with the Madare, mm. Madare, like most of the people, mo most people are uh, portrayed in a such way that if you hear the word Madare, it's like the people who have have mental mental issues. So uh, when I was there, I, I it was <laughs> quite different. Like the guy that was the, the guy that we did the history. Shout out like, to Miko Migra <laughs> Wagwan. He inspired me a lot. Like he like also he challenges me. Like mm -hmm. all, you were like. If you have any, there's there's this mosquito. Look, what color is it? It's that's a green. Look, green. This is crazy. We've had mosquitoes, but most of them have been color. Color black. Most of them. Yeah, we were used to this. Uh, initially, we had gray mosquitoes. Yeah. Yeah, it was gray, then black. But this is the this, this is, is the first time I'm seeing this. Let me know if you're in Nairobi or the surrounding, if you see different colors of mosquitoes. This is very strange. Oh my goodness. Ah, anyway. I feel like a goosebump. This guy is always scared of anything flies. I don't like flies and I don't like mosquitoes. If I hear a sound of mosquito in any room that I sleep in, I'll turn on the lights and then it's funny because I sleep naked. <laughs> you sleep with clothes? No, yeah, I always sleep with clothes. <laughs> Why? Because something might come. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you an interesting story. When I was in the village one time, one of my uncles, uh, he used to sleep naked. Huh? And then he has a he had a grass thatched house. Okay. You know those grass thatched yeah, houses? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys when I go to the village, we have that hut. And my uncle, he used to drink the illicit brew. So one time, this guy he had taken chang at night and then he went to his house. He was naked. Okay. Then you know he lit fire and then he, he passed out. <laughs> so the house caught fire. So he was he was lighting the candle or the no you you know in in at home they use the fuel the the firewood for, oh, for oh. making fire oh. so he did that i think he intended to cook then then he forgot you know he passed out because he was drunk what <laughs> fire caught the house and then i think the heat woke him up <laughs> when he woke up he started screaming <laughs> and then he jumped <laughs> from the window naked, and he was naked. <laughs> So people who had seen the fire, there are some people at home, I think it's just instinct. The people who had seen the fire, yeah. they had woken up. So they saw a naked man coming. <laughs> <laughs> they thought that he was, he was there. So everybody started that. <laughs> but still, that doesn't stop me from sleeping naked. <laughs> I still sleep naked. You know, you know in, the, in the village, when you see like, People, uh, the, the witchcrafts, we, we always see them. We, we want to see, we, we want to find that this, this is a just that this is a witchcraft. We always believe that they run naked. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I thought that maybe people are running because they think, yeah, that they they, they, they <laughs> so they like <laughs> And you know, if the night runner slaps you, do you know what happens to you in Africa? Mm. I have I, I've never, no, I have You become dumb, you can't speak. Uh -huh. Yeah. But in, in our in our village, I don't, I don't I don't know if it's also in our village. Like if you want to scare these uh, night runners, they usually come and scare us. So if you want to scare them, also, also if you, they want to scare you, also you have to scare them. Like if they, most of them may come on, may come and also come and start throwing stones uh, above uh, under uh, above on, 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 on the, the roof here, yeah. or maybe come and knock the door, then run away. Mm. So what we what we are told, like if you see, hear any kind of doubts movement or any kind of those action what you tell them that just tell them i know you and i know your place i'll come for you in the morning so if they hear that they don't want to that they they, they won't continue yeah they won't continue but what do you think is usually the motive of the night runner how can you explain the idea of night runners the night runner, i think they just want to scare people it's not as 
spiritual or demonic possession uh, in kind of way but mostly i was just even i, I asked that question why do they do this because i the feedback that i got from different people they just told me that they want to see a bit so I'm, I'm gonna travel i'm gonna travel to the village uh, now this series is done you're probably wondering our next step keep it locked tomorrow i think i'm gonna uh tell you guys what's up next but i think one of the things would be to find out from somebody who is older yeah. like yeah because i think it's a possession and it's not just night runners there are people who give you an evil eye and then you have stomach yeah. aches. yeah yeah sure you know that when you're eating yes and maybe I, I have experienced it with my little brother when we were very young because mm. he was we in kill in i don't know if it's in lu we call it sihoho si, i know lu lu is not sihoho yeah it's in lu is the joke one the joke me i knew it like si. see oh <laughs> si, oh you're from western side yeah. of lu yeah. yeah so the luos are actually divided into two we have the central mm. luos and the nyanza nyanza Nyanza, yeah. So it's from Central. I'm from Nyanza. Yeah, the the Luo is deep. Like, how do you call a seat? A seat. Huh? Com. Com. Yeah. Okay. What's Tigo? Tigo. Tigo is door. Oh. So as door is uh, dot. Yeah, dot Tigo. But we we call it dot. So there are some uh, and this a, a baby, a baby. Kunami here, kunanate. So they say nate, we say yeah. nyate. Yeah. And and uh you know I think uh the his his luo is almost similar similar to the Sudanese. Yeah. They are Choli, yeah. Yeah. Choli, yeah. yeah. And uh, also you Uganda, there are luos in Uganda. Your Padolas. Oh, your luo is almost the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really you see this dynamics. This you probably let us know if you wanna <laughs> learn about uh the Africa, the Kenyan tribes. Then uh, probably, I, I think I should do it. I don't want to promise it, but I not do. There are a lot of interesting things that I would like to share about the culture of Kenyans and also different tribes. Yeah, but interesting that we are Luos, but then there is a slight difference in the languages that we speak. Yeah, so we were talking about this Nigerians and uh, these uh, people with bad eyes. Yeah, you were telling us about your father. Ah, uh, yeah, like the the this guy. Yeah. He just he, he just came then he, he he saw him eating yeah eating on the road mostly usually happen on when the road. when they see on the road so he just he saw him then after a few days he just feel he, he was feeling like his stomach his was stomach. Some, something there some chickens were playing <laughs> in the stomach. stomach so we took him to the traditional villa villa then went then cut the the stomach with the razor blade, small cut, then start leaking from it, then you remove stones, those kind of shit. Wow. But it was a he or a she? The guy that was, who was the, the, the guy that touched your brother, he was a she. Yeah, it's usually a she. Yeah, it's usually a she. Yeah, it, they even result into deaths, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know people who died through that. But the good thing about my father, like, her mother, my which who, which happens to be my grandmother, mm. was uh, also traditional healer. So you uh. know what, he, like he knew if this if these things happen, you know what to do. Uh, yeah. She knew what yeah. to do. Yeah, they used to know. I'm really concerned about this next generation. Did you take anything from your grandmother? Uh, uh, healing or anything? I I took uh, uh, the healing using, but this the basic one. Like what? Like my, uh, this massage. Uh, massage also took yeah, my grandma. Massage and using different types of herbs. Yeah, yeah. I also learned from my grand. My grandpa is still alive. Let me know if you guys want me to feature him. He's 103. 103? 103. The guy's strong. Wow. He was also a herbalist. I would love to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably next time when you travel, we should go and do his story. Yeah. Yeah. My mom keeps saying you need to see your grandpa, and uh, a project that would be interesting to do for my grandpa is to paint his house. I don't know what I should. I wanna do Thai massage with him because I learned massage from him, but then I upgraded to Thai massage. So my Thai massage is not like original Thai massage. It's okay. mixed with traditional, traditional massage from uh, my grandpa. You've seen me practice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah and that's what makes it good i don't really do it so much uh right now but i should probably start doing thai massage with the travels yes yeah but i think doing giving him back i think would be really good really? uh but what i learned from him is my mom is against herbal medicine because you know she's a believer okay. and their church uh they go again they just against anything herbal. herbal i never understand that but i don't want to be rebellious to my mom but i i wish i learned more of that because when i wanted to learn it from the father she was like no not here you know uh, yeah but i don't know now i think i don't know he's one or three he speaks he's stable yeah let me know if you guys want to watch my grandpa on this channel and is that a street strong the eyes oh my grandpa yeah man you guys let me know if you want to do the story <laughs> john is definitely yeah. coming with me to do the story but i think this guy is gonna inspire you his his knees are better than mine wow i think my knees are bad because of break dancing but his knees are better at one or three Can I and then he, he walks he's not very bent but he's starting to bend you imagine at one or three, one or three yeah bad. but again it say they are saying that he could be older than one or three but the guy is so lit. That's like a century. I know, bro. Yeah. Huh? Century. <laughs> Hundred and three years. Ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward to you meeting this guy. I don't know. For some reason, my mom keeps saying you need to come see your grandpa. I hope he's still gonna be alive. Let's uh, pray for life for my grandpa. Sure. Yeah, but um. Yeah, he was a herbalist, and um, I think he still is. He walks with you. He used to walk with me. Like um, I used to have a food disorder. Remember, I used to be very thin, like a stick. Yeah, like a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> My then girlfriend used to tell me, hey, "You." <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I look at my. Have you seen my old pictures? I've seen <laughs> this guy. <laughs> it's crazy, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> Listen, what do you think about them? <laughs> <laughs> like you and me? <laughs> no, you at least, bro. I used to be like crazy, like even me. I used to, uh, yeah. I used to. People used to call me the needle, <laughs> <laughs> the thin down. You look, this needle here is coming. Like I, I, I felt I was like, like you were depressed. Yeah, I was depressed. Yeah, people tell you these things, and uh, like right now, people have started to tell me that I have a big belly. <laughs> it's it's cool to be saying that to somebody, but body shaming isn't pretty. It's not good at all. Let me know what you think about it. But it's, I got used to it. So the more they are telling me, the more I was adapting, adapting, adapting. Then I know. think, and this is the thing with us African kids. I think we yeah. dealt with a lot of traumas that um you know a lot of these traumas look very like the other day when i was doing your story in that in your village uh -huh. that masai was touching my private marriage bro that was embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> let me know what you guys think if you haven't watched it if you think it's a lie it's down they actually repeated it but then i didn't repeat it because it was impressive but i'm thinking about it now and as i was watching it and i'm like actually you know this is sexual uh, yeah. abuse yeah. Right? yeah 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 she was like because huh? that one that one you, you 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 if you want if you like if you really love if you want to wanted to sue him you would have yeah but again you think about it he's ignorant i wonder if he, he knows this is wrong <laughs> <laughs> he's a masai walking in a vessel <laughs> You know, I can imagine how many guys that he has touched, <laughs> but basically they do. And then my question, John, is they're selling this thing. They're calling it <laughs> the libido, libido, libido medicine, libido yeah. traditional medicine. Well, and I'm wondering what makes them think they are good in bed. <laughs> You know, yeah. What is the rating? Let us know if you think about it. Because uh, I even wonder about men who think that I have a good life. You know, you you feel like you are yeah. you are the best. You're the, be you're the guy in the game. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And I'm wondering who are you comparing yourself to, and which woman told you that you. Even if you are like you are you are. Beating your chest up. It's, it's like there's a price that you will get. 
and I, I wonder for women who are here you can also drop a comment on the comment section let us know what sexual satisfaction is for you I mean uh, I've heard of women I know of women who just spending time with you not having to you know penetrate them yeah. is satisfaction for them right. yeah there are women who yes they want two to three rounds but there are women who are content with one round also the quality of the round I don't know. This is a conversation <laughs> that is. What is your take? What is it that somebody looks at to say that oh, I'm, I'm good in sex? Uh, <laughs> These are very uncomfortable <laughs> conversations for June, but I think it's important for us to have them. Let us know what you think. Yeah, well, maybe like if you see a guy, most of I've been living, I've been surrounded with the guy who I've been into, like say. So they when they come then they like they praising themselves like ah I really I really I really hate that woman like, <laughs> when she was screaming when she was holding me ah, I feel like I'm the boss <laughs> I think that's what makes them that they are satisfied like. they feel like they're yeah but also these women can also be very kind of cheeky they yeah, might can be, lie yeah they can lie that yeah like then to make you that to to uh, to just make you like that's true yeah to think they make you think that they to make you feel that you are you are good in, good that's, in the that's game that's gross though yeah that's gross yeah i had a colleague of mine we were of, often about talking we were talking and we had very a lot of often uh, conversations about sex and uh she used to tell me that um she used to date this guy mm -hmm. and uh the guy knew nothing about intimacy so the guy would just as soon as he erect he would go in uh -huh. he didn't care about you know making her ready so what she would do she would just scream and the guy would come <laughs> she'd be like i don't want to do it <laughs> and then the guy would come and then she like she just wanted this guy to come and come out of uh, uh, you know so it's it's a conversation that we could get into <laughs> Monday to Friday, but it, that's really interesting. Yeah. So with the Maasai man, I don't know. I thought about it, and and you know that's not the first time I've had a man. I was in Galeria. It was disgusting, and so I understood. I think I talked about it. I I understood why uh, women should not be subjected to you know attach without consent. Yeah. or even because i was in galeria and i was going to the parking and this man i think he was gay a very bad representation of the lgbtq he grabbed my couch he grabbed my couch and by the time i processed this thing i looked at him and he was popping his tongue out of his mouth this was like disgusting this is this is this was like the most I don't know, disgusting in the man, but it took me a while to even start my car from the parking. And so I understand men stop grabbing women. <laughs> stop grabbing women without their consent. It's wrong. It's embarrassing. It's unethical. It's disgusting. And then it's, I don't know, man, it's really not good. Yeah, so we were talking about the grandma, the grandpa. Yeah, my grandpa. Let us know if you want to see my grandpa. Uh, he's a very nice gentleman. You know, you guys have watched my mom, so my mom is a replica of my grandpa, and you know, he's just you know, somebody very rich with wisdom and a lot of things. Every time I go to my grandpa, he spits on my head. Blessing. You know that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he spits on my head, and if you hold his hand, he spits on your hand. And this is a sign. Even my grand grandma was used to do that. Ah, yeah. Yeah, and it's blessing, and it's also I, I don't know. Let us know if you have these cultures where you guys are. So mine was where uh, was in, 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 she was doing it different. Where she, when she was serving us the food, all of us, she would just test it, then give it to you. Ah. Then after testing it, then the the same the same food that is in, in the spoon that the one that we always we always taste all of us. Then after that, then we are good to eat the food. Ah. Yeah, a lot of things I think that uh, my grandpa did with me. Um, my grandpa is actually the one who also talked to me about sex. He used to give me a lot of sex talks. So we were buddies. I was, you know, I was a teenager, so 
because I didn't have my father. My father passed when I was still a kid. Uh, but my grandpa, I think he took the place of my father, so he taught me a lot of things. But he was like, don't tell anyone. But I appreciate them now that I'm grown up. I think I appreciate them. You also talk to me about a little about women, not to to, to try and yeah. understand women. Do you understand women? No, I don't understand women. Why do you say so? Because <laughs> they, they, they usually change. They usually change. Do you understand yourself? Myself? Yeah. Yeah, I do understand myself fully. Not fully, but I understand myself. Oh, uh, like uh, when you say not fully, if you don't understand yourself not fully, why would you want to understand a woman fully? <laughs> yeah. And women go through a lot of phases in life, you know. Like today, if you meet a girl, a woman in your the standard, mm -hmm. they're gonna love you because of the yeah. math love. <laughs> And then when they come in and move with you as a woman, they'd be like, oh, why are you investing in these girls? You know, you need to do something different. Yeah. When they give birth, they become a different person. So it's a, a lot of different, actually they become a mother. So it's it's a lot of phases that women go through oh. that changes how they think and they grow as well. Plus, you know, <clears throat> with women, there are a lot of things that are happening to them. And also women, I don't know if, for the ladies, for our women who are watching, let us know what you think. I think it would be a good thing. Mm -hmm. For me, I think uh, a lot of young people fail today because they think they want to understand women. Yeah. Like, what do you want us to understand about a woman? I, I, sometimes I don't understand myself why they put the pressure. Yeah, so I think the pressure, putting pressure on understanding a woman just how full she is what to us you know yeah making up that i think that's the problem with a lot of young people no one is giving us guidance on uh what to do so we're looking for perfection by looking for perfection and they're not perfect perfect yourself first perfect yourself first <laughs> yeah and you can never perfect yourself i think we yeah. don't we live with flows we learn from them and we grow from them let us know what you think on the comment section you are a leader's count to us. But also remember, hit that subscribe button and go to share with Jim. Hit subscribe button, tell him you're from um, Victor Sweet Victor. I really love to see the people that started with me and have grown with me, especially when they comment. I think it's very um, touching. I was telling you about, um, about uh, these guys who reached out and they wanted to shoot my subscribers. Uh, the guy that wanted to shoot a subscriber in, during short period of time. Yeah, he wants me to get a million subscribers in. Yeah, what is your take on that? I can't buy that idea, cause yeah, cause these are the you you know where you came from and you know the the struggles that you undergo. We went through then when reaching on the high notes. Then the guy just came in. I want to shoot. Why, why did he come when you were starting the from the top? Yeah, it's for me. I think it gives money. And also the the thing that the the thing that meant me to, uh, meant me to not to buy that idea because he was requesting about your uh, that he was the one who's going to be in charge of the the of channel. The channel. Yeah, but also I'm imagining one. This is not somebody who's really watched Victor Sweet Victor. He's checked my algorithms and probably the stories that we do. Okay. And thanks to our subscribers who've grown with us. I mean, there are people who've been watching when the sound was bad, when yeah. the video was not good. Sometimes it would be stuck, and they stuck with us. They give us insights. Uh, the people who come and insult, we also take it positively. The story of the Somalis. For those who came, I saw somebody who was actually insulting my subscribers. And these are Somali. And this is Ramadan. But like seriously, <laughs> oh, we don't know Somalis like that. Somalis are great people. Yeah. We're still looking for a Somali. I know they are in Ramadan, but that story of Somali, we have to follow up. What I shared, and I, I the clear disclaimer, it's not something that I know. It is information that I got. And I explained that what I found out in everything I say, 
yeah but again um in that in that in that story of people want to help shoot one i think it's good this person looked at the story that i'm doing mm. and uh shout out to the subscribers who drop comments because it really helps there are people who found my channel just from you know you guys doing this engagement and i really appreciate this but this guy i don't i didn't like when i was talking to him yes he showed me people that they've helped there was proof that they've helped these people mm -hmm. but i was looking at these people's channel it made no sense to me because one for me i like my my few subscribers i'd be happy for my subscribers to go but i love them because i connect with them they they are part of the family for me i think my subscribers are part of the family as opposed to having many subscribers everybody wants you want subscribers yeah you definitely can but for me i think i want subscribers who i can connect to and yeah. small circles that are very engaging and also the subscribers who will advise you on what to do and what not to do they give you positive yeah. insight not come to insult you and so this is one of my biggest fear with my channel growing i want it to grow mm -hmm. but my fear is you know some people come with negative i know how to tackle negative energy and turn it into something positive or even some people feel embarrassed i have somebody who has been constantly writing me I don't know if we should. You, you've seen this family <laughs> yeah. everywhere. Oh, Victor, where do you get money? Remember to have money. <laughs> don't ask. And I told this person, I don't know if they're watching. I told this person, please, let's do a Zoom call. Record it. Because I know. One, this is not somebody who's been here from the beginning. They just bring negative energy. I don't know. Maybe it's positive. I want to do with you a Zoom call, then we can record it. You can ask all your questions because also some of my subscribers who are new might be asking. I have videos here that explain how I made my money. But this guy is always this person. I think it's a she. Yeah. So look, like, how did you make your money? How did you go to this expenses? <laughs> how did you travel to? Well, I've traveled so much. That is something I documented. But I never documented my travels in the US and in Europe. So if you know about that, it's gonna probably break your I'm sorry. But I don't understand your motive. It's probably because this person has posted this comment in Vin and Len in my videos. So many of my videos, people bring it to my attention. Uh -huh. And I wonder what is your motive. It's probably positive, but please. Let's schedule a Zoom call and break this. If she, if she, uh, she is asking where you get the money from, but also that means yeah, she has not been following from the day that we started. Yeah, because there are some there are videos that you you showed us the, how you invested when you are still. Here. How I got my yeah. first million. Then you you should go and look check the, on that video. Don't ask some <laughs> point. <laughs> No, I'm just expressing. Don't ask. Don't ask question here where you get money. And also remember <laughs> to have money. <laughs> Very important. Money is a great enabler, and it's good. Yeah, it's given my boy confidence. It's like you should you should, you should, you should. <laughs> share with John is the channel. Go to John's channel and subscribe, please. Uh, we wanna help him hit hundred subscribers. This is easy, easy, easy and easy. Let's go, guys. Let's subscribe to his channel. Yeah, but where were we again? <laughs> we discussed it so many things. We have been correct. We did we finish about that. I think I think we finished about the understanding of the woman. So I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, it for me it should be good, and that's what I like about our mentorship programs. We talk to girls, yeah. boys about um, so with our program, the organization that John is um uh, the manager for. Uh, we have three pillar programs. We have capoeira, slam dance, breaking. Slam dance is the, uh, is the same as breaking. Then we have the girls empowerment. The girls empowerment. So for us, for the girls empowerment class, there are sessions that we bring. Of course, there are confidential sessions that they only do by themselves. Uh, but there are sessions that uh, we bring in uh, uh, boys so we can discuss certain um, aspects and uh, differences and understandings between the girls and the boys 
So then the goal is always to find the middle ground and for the boys to understand the girls, the girls to understand the boys. Yeah, and I think this is beautiful. I don't know if they do it anywhere else in Kenya. I just see um, empowerment programs for girls where they tell girls how, boy, how bad boys are and uh, they tell boys how bad girls are. And I don't really, I don't vouch for that. I know people get funding to do this. The intention and the motive behind this, I don't really, I have never understood. But it is evident in what is happening today with the chaos between the boy child and the girl child, the man and the woman, yeah? Yeah. And so, can we be different as Victor, sweet Victor, and share with them? And let's spread a different one. Because a woman should compliment a man, a man should compliment a woman. And so turning one against the other, I do not understand the motive. Let us know what you think on the comment section again. Like we said, this was an engaging conversation today. And so we're going to get into it. Yeah, you're not getting a leave, bro. <laughs> Remember, we have no eggs and we have this. Yes. Mala. So, John, are you ready? <laughs> In doing the Nairobi series, actually, I think that session we can probably do with... Um, but I'm going to talk about your, your channel. Okay. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready with the For every wrong one. answer, the wrong answer, I get this one. So this actually explains you always have luck in your hands. You decide what you do with it. And yes. if you choose it, <laughs> this is away from you. This is this is the choice you're making, bro. For the wrong answer, I get this. Yeah. This one, see your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I'm, see? I'm in your channel, bro. Yeah, I said yes. I, if I got wrong, I get the mala. That's that's what is <laughs> you're not gonna <laughs> this guy is my YouTube side. He's trying to trick me. <laughs> hey, but I'm proud of you. I'm looking at your channel, beautiful bro. Thank you. Bro. So how old is your channel? Now it's one month. One month or do you remember the exact date? I I, I remember the date. <laughs> one, one month since you posted the first video. Yeah, June the first of the first oh, video. Yeah. Uh, because it's from your so what is saying is the challenge was the channel was launched in July. Uh actually one month. Good. You take that. Yeah. You take that. Oh <laughs> I'm sleeping in my, on the channel. <laughs> uh, how many videos do you have as per today? As per today. <laughs> 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 29 videos protected. This one, okay. No. <laughs> How many videos? I'm giving you another shot. 30 videos. Ah, yeah. <laughs> How many videos do you have? Guys, <laughs> guys oh. check his channel. Check his channel. <laughs> you you don't trust you. Bro. No. Okay, I'm going to give you a pass for that. I, you know what? The reason why I say 30 videos is mm. because there's, there's, there's the one that is uploading now. I just remember it's uh, it, it's not yet uploaded. That's why I said that. Okay. Should I take this one? No, no. <laughs> Even small. Just for trial. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Here I'm gonna catch you, bro. <laughs> How many subscribers do you have as at now? Eighty-eight. Guys, guys, look at this. You see the subscribers? Show them the subscribers. How many subscribers do you have? Eight and eight. Thanks to Victor to be. <laughs> let's go and subscribe to share with John. Share with John on YouTube. The last time I no, no. <laughs> you have to keep talking with China. Ready, steady. steady. <laughs> this is raw eggs. Why, bro? You need to take the same way you're taking the milk, bro. You know this is good for you. This is full of proteins. Let me just put. Uh, it's good for semen guy <laughs> you have to keep your hand up so you can slow down <coughs> you know sometimes when i go to the gym i drink raw eggs mm -hmm. when i can't eat ah good good man <laughs> so um who is your biggest supporter my biggest supporter, Marceline from Luzenberg. Marceline, I think, is supporting the entire uh, 
uh, Kibera community. Kibera YouTube uh, community. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Marceline, shout out to you. Very funny. Mm. If you don't understand Marceline, you you think uh, she's at the. But she's very funny. She's actually very supportive. Marceline, shout out to you for the love. Yeah. Um, she's always commenting. Actually, she commented in your last video. Peace, yeah. friends. Thumbs up. That and you know the good thing with Marceline, as she was, as she watches, she she will comment. Yeah. She watches as she comments. Nice. Hola, John and Johnson. Nice video, guys, guys, and happy smileys. Love it. You had much fun, Marceline. <laughs> losing back Europe. Hey, Marceline. Marceline. You up. you have to. Next year you're going to Europe, right? Yeah. No, it's next, next year. year. This year. I think it's late this year. Or early this year. Early next year. Last year. Yeah. When when did the kids go to Europe? Last year. It was last year. Oh, so, so they follow all next, next year. year. So next year John will be in Europe. You make yeah. sure you connect. I'll connect with you, Marceline. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be in Europe soon, so maybe I can holler at Marceline. Or you can come to France. Yeah. Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll be doing a Schengen tour as well, so Oh, my subscriber will keep saying, where do I get the money? <laughs> I'm going to Europe. I'm sorry. We should have that video call. I'm serious on this. We should have that video call. And then have your questions down and I'll answer all of them. I really love you for supporting me. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for supporting me.